Severe thunderstorms threaten Iowa regularly during the spring and summer, often bringing hail damaging winds, and occasionally tornadoes along with them. We, of course, often focus on concerns related to wind or tornadoes, but hail can be dangerous and destructive, and how hail forms is a fairly complex process. Thunderstorms have updrafts that pull moisture from the surface into the storm, giving it fuel to grow and survive. In strong to severe thunderstorms, the updrafts are very strong, sending water droplets high into the atmosphere. Eventually, these droplets can become supercooled because they reach a region of sub-freezing temperatures way up. As the droplets keep getting pulled up, layers of ice begin to form on this already frozen droplet. Of course, what goes up must come down, right? At some point, the weight of this frozen droplet becomes too much for the updraft to keep suspended in the air, and it falls to the ground. The longer these frozen droplets stay suspended in the atmosphere, the larger the hail can grow. Now, we often measure hail size by comparing it to common objects with pea-sized and dime-sized hail, usually indicating a non-severe thunderstorm, while baseball-sized hail or greater indicates an intense, severe thunderstorm. Unofficially, the largest hailstone recorded in Iowa was in a five and a half inch stone in Dubuque back in June of 1882. Meanwhile, the town of Vivian, South Dakota, still holds the record for the biggest and heaviest hailstone in the U.S., coming in at eight inches and nearly two pounds in July 2010. For more science behind the weather, check out the Local 5 Weather Lab on YouTube and at WeAreIowa.com. I'm meteorologist Brandon Lawrence.